but I think I've got it right. And I've got the screens right. Now I have to put this little microphone on. And I might have it together. Okay, now this little camera has to go down a little bit. Just like that. And I think the heights are right. Okay, let's do a painting. I need plenty of white. I've thinned my white paint out. Or I did, I think it's here. No, it's in the other bottle. There it is. Yes. Plenty of thinned white paint. This is acrylic paint I'm working with. I'll put a little bit on the painting because I know I'm going to need it up there. So I'll put it up there too. And some blue. Well, we got some. There's a Windsor blue. Windsor and Newton. That's a Windsor blue. That should be a very pretty blue. Very strong. Oop, yep, it's still okay. Very good. Now, I'm going to have to shut a door because I've got a noise coming from the other room. That should help. And I'm not sure if the sound is sequenced with the movie because I'm trying out a new sound system. But we'll see what happens. Nice big flat brush and we'll start with a sky. White paint. Oh, that paint does go well when it's thinned out a little bit. That's the acrylic paint, the acrylic white. Good. Oh, that is much better. Plenty uh, of paint on this sky with the acrylic because it dries rather fast. Bring it well down. And then up in the corners we'll start with a blue. That's a beautiful blue, very strong. And it runs out when you get in the middle, that's okay. In the brush, that is a pretty colour, isn't it? Uh huh. Crisscross, crisscross, right in the corner, bring it across to the middle. And then we have a rather dull blue coming down to the white underneath. Clean the brush again. Oh, that's too much blue on there. Okay, I'll grab another brush. That one will do. Too much blue. Right down here to the white. Now I won't do any more to that because I don't want to get up into the blue yet. And we'll put some crimson up on the palette. A little bit of crimson and a little bit of raw sienna. Come on, raw sienna, come out of the come out of there. That's it. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Little tiny bit of crimson. A little bit of crimson in the sky and a little bit of raw sienna below it and that gives you the glow in the sky. So you've got your three colours, your yellow, red and blue. Now work it up from the bottom up into the sky. Clean the brush down here and then I'll work it up in a nice clear blue sky. in the brush. Oh, that paper's no good. Clean in the brush. Now, I can see it all. Get the brush clean. Once wet, we're working wet on wet. So you slowly move up into the blue. That should blend very well. Clean the brush again. Blend across from the corner. Clean the brush again. I'm still setting this system up, so whether it works or not, I don't know. Let's have some clouds here. Something like that. Maybe a big bit of cloud there. Not too bright, not too too much cloud, just a bit. 
across to there. And a bit of white. Oh, I picked up blue there. I didn't want it. A bit of white, right? That's blue. I don't want that there. Right there. That'll do. And that area there. Mm. Okay. With a big soft brush. That's pretty soft, I think. So brush it over and make those clouds look like they're moving. Clean the brush down there. And then I'll give the clouds a bit of movement. Okay, clouds. They look okay. I might as well keep using this brush. Now I'm going to go for another blue. I wish I had cobalt blue, but I haven't today. I have ultramarine blue because cobalt blue looks a bit more like that blue. Looks a bit more like the Thalo or the Windsor blue. Now I'll put that there. And this is going to be our mountain colour. Get a bit of a dull blue, very dull blue. That's it. I'll add the brush a little bit more blue on the tip of the brush. There's more blue there than there is there. And when I paint the mountain in, the top of the mountain should be darker. Only just. Mm. Now that mountain looks a bit funny because it's two humps. Let's bring it down. A bit of shape in it. Bit of shape there. Maybe bring that one in front of that one. That'll do. And the mountain here. A little bit of a pink coming to it there. That'll bring it a bit closer. It's a bit closer mountain that one. And a bit more pink in the bottom. A bit more white to bring that. Now I destroyed it. Let's do it again. Mountain there. Mm. Okay, that can be our distant mountains. They're pretty low, so we'll bring the we'll bring the trees up a little bit around them. I need to get some colours ready because I need a dark grey or purpley grey for the foreground. And we'll mix it down here. Oh, I've got, I got a bit of a grey mixed here. With some, this is a mixture of all it was. Mixture of the two colours together. Mm, yeah, it's still alright. It's, it's got three colours now. I can see red and I can see I can see blue and raw sienna, so that should give us a grey and I'll block in what would be the trees now for the distance we don't want dark trees, we want pale trees so I'll get a bit of white a bit of white make a bit of a pale bluey colour a bit darker than that that's too red that's better white in it. That'll give us what will be the background trees along here. I'll lift it up a bit so you can see it. And they've got to come up high because I'm, I come down a little bit too low on the mountains, which doesn't matter. I'll block in what will be the trees in the distance. There. There. there and here there mm, yeah it's looking okay we, we can go a little bit darker here because it's a bit closer so I'll put that color in and then I'll mix it with this one and that's our background colors for our trees it's a little bit too dark there but it doesn't matter and across here we do the same. And that's a good layout for a painting. So to break it up and make it a little bit different, let's come in, let's have a bit of something here, something different there. There's a tree there. There we are. Now we need foliage on these trees. We start with the middle ones, and that foliage mustn't be green. 
it needs to be a very pale green, a really dull grey green. And a good way of mixing that is we can put some raw sienna into it. So raw sienna and blue mainly are the colours we need now. And of course we need more white. There's the white. Put that up there too. Now I mix my colour with the brush because I'm too lazy to go and get the painting knife. So over here. Something like that. I'm putting a lot of paint there because I don't want to run out. And then we put the blue in. Now here you could use Viridian Green you should use here, but I'm using blue at the moment. And that'll give us a dull grey green. Put a bit of the grey in there. A little bit of red. And then we'll tone it down with a white. We'll get it rather dull. I'll tone it down with a pale blue actually. No, we've lost the greeny look. A bit more blue in it. That's it there. Okay. Now, shape the brush. You see my brush has gone to a chisel shape. You see that? You might be able to see it in there. It's a chisel shape. And I picked the paint up on one side, the tip of it, and that'll give us little, little, tiny little tree looking things. You see that? Looks like little trees. I think I can get in a bit closer there to have a look. Oh, that's a bit too close, isn't it? Mm. Well, that'll do. And you can see those little trees happening along there. 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 And I'm putting the sunlight on the other side of the trees here because they're more or less they're going like that. Clean the brush and pull the brush to a chisel point. Don't wash your brush all the time when you're trying to work like this. You'll lose, you'll destroy the shape of the brush. There's the brush gone to like putty and into a chisel point. It picks up the paint nicely. So the paint's on this side of the brush. There. And they're rather dull trees in the background. And a couple more up here. Mm -hmm. Now I'll unload my brush there. Maybe I shouldn't, but I will. Because I think I want water there. Now we get a little bit more green. So I'll make a colour that's a little bit more rossy and a little bit more blue in it. We've got a little bit more greeny looking there. See that there? Not too much. And a little bit there. And this tree maybe a little bit on there. And then I'm going to go into the yellow. So now we move into the, the warm yellow. Hmm, doesn't want to come out of the tube. That's okay. It'll come out of the tube now. Ooh, nice big hunk of paint. And I'll use a bigger brush too because we're coming forward. Where's a chunky little brush? That looks good. And the yellow, a bit of blue in it. This is a green that's a bit too green, so we'll tone it down with some of those other colours. There. Okay. Now, for some reason, my YouTube dropped out. Okay, I'm going to stop streaming now because there's something gone wrong with it. Okay. I think there has. Let's have a look. No, it's still there. Len, you awake. Daniel Robinson. Yeah, mate. I'm glad you're there because there's no one else there. I must be the only one awake. It's still up. <laughs> so, it's still up. Yeah, it is, Simon. Thanks, mate. I just realised. I'm going to open the door because it's so hot in here. And um, I was worried because there's some 
Actually, I'll go and turn it off. In the other room, there's a, um, a voice happening. So I'll go and turn it off. Leave the door open, there's air conditioned air coming in now. Otherwise, I'm going to cook. Okay. Okay, don't touch nothing. Just let it keep happening. Um, okay, what we're we up to. We're making a green that isn't quite too yellow because we want the yellow when we come forward further. And I'll keep it zoomed in for a minute because then you can see how this goes. That canvas has gone a bit, a bit wonky. You see it's not bright yellow, but it's okay, it's okay. That's a distance green. It could have some pretty colours on it later. And that's a canvas over there. I'll put a few pretty colours on it now. Just a little bit. There. And across the other side of the paint, and we get the same thing. I hope the sounds all right, you guys. If you're still there, because uh, I'm experimenting, and I don't know if the sound is is um, the same as my mouth. What do you call it? Synchronized. I don't know if it's synchronized with my mouth or not. Mm. Took me a while to work it out, but I don't think it's. Right, I mean the, the the streaming business, but we'll get there. Okay, what have we got now? I've got a whoop whoop. Turn in just a little bit. If I can stop it, stay. Got it. Okay, what do we got? We need some water, so we'll get into putting the water on, which is easy because paintings look great with water. And I need some clean white paint. I'll put it here. There. Yeah, perfect. Oh, good. Is the sound good? Is it really? That must be my lucky day. I knew I'd get it right sooner or later. Always have your corners dark. This this blue is so strong. You've got to watch it. It gets everywhere. I think it's that strong and you can threaten people with it. Just one drop will destroy someone's brand new carpet. It's incredibly strong. That's winter blue. Okay, no more of that. It's getting everywhere. Um, let's put some of this, these darks down in here because there's going to be reflections there. And here. And then with the clean brush, if I can find one, we'll pull some of that down into the water. Oh, that didn't go too well. It's gone a bit dry, this acrylic paint's drying quick with this weather. There. Good. Now we'll get the water shiny, clean the brush. Put it horizontal. Should look like shiny water. Good. Now is a painting knife, amazing. I'm going to use Indian yellow here. It's a brilliant colour. That's if there's anything left in that tube. Australian sienna, I think it is. Yeah, I'll put some here. And with the white, it should give me a really pretty bank over the other side of the river. There. That's a brilliant colour, that. Brush like that. 
clean it again. It's a good colour. It's a bit thick what I did there, but we'll come in with it again. There. And underneath that, you always need the dark to distinguish the bank. There's the bank. That's supposed to tell me how many people are online at the moment. Four people, that's good. I think they're people. There. That Indian yellow, I'll put them on the knife here. Indian yellow always looks good. It's a beautiful colour. Now that's not Indian yellow, that's Australian sienna, but I call it Indian yellow because I think that's the pigment that it's got in it as Indian yellow. There. And underneath there you always have your dark bank, perfectly horizontal the bank. And we fix it all later later up when we do we fix it all up later when we do the grass, we make it look neat. At this stage it can stay like that. And I'll put it up here. Like that, something like that. There. Okay, grass. It's really hot here in Thailand at the moment. Luckily I've got an air conditioner now. Right. Grass. Let's come in and have a really good look at this grass. Get in closer and have a look. Woo! Woo! There. Woo! There. Okay, we do grass. We do good grass. Right across. Don't destroy it all. Leave some good bits. And it goes up to the edge, there like that. And I'll fix this up in a minute. Now that doesn't look too good, we'll touch that up. And across the back there, I do want some white, always I want a little bit of white in this area of the painting because the white attracts your eye and you do want the eye attracted to the middle of the painting. So I'll put some white in there, that's better. Although it should be horizontal. Yes. Clean brush. Okay. With the painting knife again, I'll clean it and we'll put some white strips on the water. Well, that's not a painting knife, that's another one. These should be horizontal also. And they make the water look flat. And while you're up close, we'll put some little branches on those trees, which make them look a bit more real. Oh, that was a bit much, that one, it's okay, not too many. And here. Not too many, and not all the same. Just a few, and here we have one a bit of character in this one. And a bit of paint. Mm, that's a little bit white, that paint, so I'll put it in there. Mm-hmm. How's it looking? Not too bad. Not too bad. I'll zoom out again in a minute. Just out a fraction. There. Woo. No. There. Now time to fill in this side. And this side, you can't just have the yellow, you have to go for a bit of red. A little bit of red there, so I'll pick up some red and scrub in there. Put some dark underneath because it's good to have dark corners on every painting, so you're always attracted into the picture. Yeah. 
and a bit of white in there to cover it up a bit. Okay, and then with a fan brush again, if I can find it, there it is. We'll turn that into grass and it goes up over the water. Like that. And let's get some dark paint. We'll have a big blob of dark here. That's big dark grass there in the corner. Facing in. Now this is the masking tape here, so it doesn't matter what happens there much. Well, what have we got? Doesn't look too bad yet. I'll come out just a fraction more. There. Okay, I think it needs a tree there. I could put a little house there. Let's have a little house. Okay, why not? This could be the fisherman's hut. Set back. Where would he have his hut? He'd have it back in there, I'd say. It's a bit dark, but we'll fix that. That's his hut, and it'd have a roof on it of some sort. The roof would be multicolored. Put the roof sloping into the picture like that. There. And one wall would be darker than the other, so we'll put this wall dark. Something like that. And a little bit of detail on it, so you can spot it. But the detail must all attract your eye into the picture, so we'll slope this one down slightly. One in, in there, and a little bit of something there. And you have a door, maybe something there, and a window. Now, because it's a bit bland looking, I'll, I'll put a bush beside it. We can have a track coming past. Something like that. Why not? But we've still got to have a tree. If I can find my knife, I'll put the stump, stump of the tree. There's a knife. Good. I'll do the stump of the tree with a knife. We're loading the knife. Darks on one side. There's some darks. There's some nice darks. Darks on one side of the knife. And the whites and all the pretty colours on the inside. Just a little bit there. Yeah, it looks good. Looks good. Now the tree. Not there. Might have two trees. Let's see how we go. I'll try and sculpture it. Sculpture a tree in here and that'll fill that big corner in. Tree comes. Something like that. Yes. Put in the knife. I'll pick up some dark and fill in this area. That big bit of dark looks too much there, so I'll just put some flowers there later. Now on the edge of the tree, I'll put this white line, if I can. Oops, didn't work. Another time, okay. White line there. And just to bring the tree out a little bit and make sure that dark is, is finished up. Okay, that's a good start for a tree. Do I need another one? No, that'll do. Do I do? I might put a fence in there in a minute. Okay, lay me a little brush with lots of colours and take the tree right up there. There. We're not worried too much about the branches because we can fix them. Then we need it to come so it attracts your eye into the picture. So let's have it down there. Okay, now my nice big flat house painting brush. Wherever it is. Getting into a mess here, I've got to get this organised. 
That's a good little brush. We'll do that one. And I'll load it with lots of colours. Dark on one side. Lots of dark. Let's get all these dark colours and put them on here. Make it a dark green. There's a green grey. And we'll rub it through here. So it's loaded with two colours. Okay. It's got to come into the picture. I want to start right out here. Yeah. In there. Okay. Oh, that's a big tree. But that's cool. Mm, looks okay, actually. It goes out, out of the picture, up out of the picture. It's very close to us, this tree. Okay. Have detail on it. A bit of stuff over that side. That'll do. Little brush. Let's have some. Let's have some branches. And a branch that looks it makes it look like this branch. It's foliage on the other side of the tree, see? Bit of bark hanging off here and there. I must do this corner before I forget. I just need a little bit of something in the corners, like a couple of flowers, because it's a little bit too too dark there, a little bit too much. There. Now, we could have a fence, light and dark on the brush at once. And we could have a fence starting here. You know, where would the fence be? Out that hallway. Okay. Fence post there. Another fence post. And again, motorbike. There, there. They're getting a bit thick. There. Up towards the house. There's a detailed fence post. Put that. I guess we better have something holding it up. Strut. Strut there. And some wire of some sort hanging on the fence. Now that fence post is not dark enough on top because you can't see it from the background there. Okay. And the bottom of the fence there's some little flowers. Not many. There. Getting close to finish. I think that'll do it. Oh. I want a good knife. That's not a good knife. It'll do. And just a couple more white lines on here. There. And there. That'll do. I need to sign it. I should be able to sell these online too if I can. I'll give it a go one day. It's very cheap. Okay. There. Now I don't want to fall off here. Leave that on. I think it looks all right. Okay, all done. I'll leave it there for a couple of minutes and then I'll I'll log out. I'll lose some weight anyway. That's good. A bit off, but it's good. I must remember to clean my brushes tonight. Now have a closer look. Whoop. I'm a bit disappointed the fence didn't stand out. You see how the fence joins with that top of the creek? 
it doesn't matter. Looks like Mount Sincogan in the background. Well, that's where I wish I was. Yes. Yeah. Side ad. Thanks, guys. Things looks great. Yeah, perfect. That's the sound. Everything good. If you see any fault with my with my setup, let me know because um, I'm here and I don't know what happens over there at your end. If you can't hear me, I'll mumble away to myself, but that's not important. And uh, that's good. I'll leave it up there for a few minutes. Ah, oh, some birds. We forgot our birds. Okay, birdies. Get ready. Okay. The birds are handy. See, when you look at a painting, you look here and you look around there and uh, nothing to catch your eye. The birds there will catch your eye. So I'll see the birds and then it'll drop down there. So they're very handy to arrange a painting to get the eye to travel around the painting. So we we'll, have, we'll have one up here anyway. It's just an M. We end up a V, that one. An M here. And a little one here. There. So it catches your eye. Okay, in the little hut, you can just see it. That's good. Thanks, guys. I'll see you later because I'll click it off now if I can. Mm. No, I'll have to go in the other room and click it off. Okay. Then you're off. Lenny, you away. Yes, I am away. <laughs> I'm in Thailand, it's not the middle of the night here.